is. Oh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> hey guys, it's Bino, and welcome to another placeholder LP. Uh, Half Life didn't quite carry me over enough. I'm currently recording this in November something. Mm, this doesn't say the date. Okay, well, anyway, point is, we're going to be playing Doom 3. This, I'm not going to say it's in a, it's in a celebration of, we're just going to play Marine. I actually haven't been in this game that uh, through, actually, to be honest. But uh, we're just going to play through this game. Just, uh, we're just going to play through it. Um, what did I say? Yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of playing this as a little bit of a carryover. Just because I, I really do want to get into console gaming again, but unfortunately I don't really have any footage. Like, well, I don't have a way of recording it besides camera, and I don't, I don't want to do another camera game. And then I've got way too many shooters. It's like Metroid Prime, only crunchy. The Union Aerospace Corporation is the largest corporate entity in existence. Okay. Originally focused on weapon and defense contracts, new ventures have expanded into biological research, space exploration, and other scientific endeavors. Sure. With unlimited funds and the ability to engage in research outside. Well, I mean, there's a limit on everything. Like. The UAC controls the most advanced the... technology ever conceived. The something account control. I don't know the VAC, I don't know the UAC. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're pulling a no, Metroid Prime 2. Yeah, I know. I've, I've played a bit of this game. I, ha I haven't... First of all, I haven't watched this thing, Owen. Mean, I haven't played it all the way through, so I'm not entirely sure what happens. I haven't even seen all the weapons, but I, I generally know the game. By the way, I'm playing the original version, not the BFG edition. Which is available on Steam again. Uh, you can't get master levels on Steam anymore. Whoa, snap. Ah, ah, ah. I actually was kind of amazed with this game. It had some really good graphics for the time. Even a bit better than uh, Half-Life 2. Half-Life 2 was a bit more compatible, though. This game is like... Hopefully... I feel like they're pulling Metroid here. Because, like, Metroid really defined the Space Marine. And Halo. <laughs> Halo came out first, so... I can't By Metroid, I mean Metroid Prime. I didn't want to come here. He left you no choice. True. But this is the last time. I'm tired of running damage control every time he makes a mess. Right. You're the control. And if that fails... Oh yeah, there's I'm one problem. Damaged. There's no subtitles in this game. Is. But Kruger is gonna start doing things our way. <laughs> you may be thinking, dude, the graphics is a horrid, but actually the lighting effects and stuff, they're all really amazing for its time. Uh, 2004. Like, a lot of it deals with HDR and stuff, Welcome which you see... Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, if I hit this, I hit options. If I go to game options, there's no... My player name is player. System? By the way, my resolution isn't 640, it is 1080. Welcome to Mars City, Union Aerospace's premier research facility. I've got fists. Also, there's no right click. Right click jumps. It's kind of weird. One thing I do like is that all the computers, like, look at that. That, that is pretty cool how the mouse, like, the, cur the crosshair actually turns into the mouse on the screen. And it doesn't look dodgy, like, the mouse will actually have parallax, which is pretty cool. So, you, so I'm going to be looking around a little bit. I'm not going to. Okay, I'm totally messing up if I hit delete, but, um... Uh, yeah, it, it was a very amazing game when it came out, kind of. Um... Welcome to Mars, Marine. Although people are a little bit disappointed just because of the I'm Doom name. Step on one of those it doesn't really do much with Doom, more specifically. Only take a second. Although you are on... Okay, let me get I think you're on started. Mars in this game. You're on Mars's moves. You're gonna need to hold still. Moving around only makes the test take longer. <laughs> Alright, Bioscan looks good. You're cleared Went for the same length anyway. 
Uh, so yeah, this LP is gonna be a little bit like oh. <laughs> oh wait, no, that's a robot. Jeez. Yeah, this game also kind of took the Half-Life approach into doing this. I love these videos, by the way. The rivalry. I, I also like the really good clarity on these screens. Besides that, besides that, but it's, it's like I love the way it just plays videos on on walls and whatnot. Uh, okay, I'll download. Oh, oh yeah, I don't have a PDA. Oh, I don't even have a card. But that's one thing I love is that this game does have a very good immersion, despite the fact that it does this. You can just leave your bag there. I'll have it sent up your quarters. I remember it does okay. do this There's a couple a of times. We need to take care of not, not a couple of times. This it does a few your times. Personal data assistant. You'll need this to access all secure areas. If you get clearance for any security zones, it'll download directly. It's important, so don't lose it. I see here that Sergeant Kelly has requested your immediate attention. Head directly to Marine Command. It's just that way. Follow the signs. Okay, so this is the PDA. It's critical f for your work. You can use it by pressing tab. Your PDA contains your clearance data, your email, audio logs and video discs, and stuff that you find as well as your mission objective. Uh, when you pick one, another one's up, their information is downloaded directly to your PDA. That's a bit of a security flaw. Um, and basically, yeah. So you can you can get some more... It, it, they, again, they do the Metroid Prime approach. You find things and you will learn more about it, but you're not forced to actually do anything. Also, by the way, it's 21.45. Yeah, 21.12 happened already. Uh, also, you get video discs. I believe you can listen to the... to the... Audio. Welcome to Mars, Marine. This you briefing is designed videos. to acquaint you with a few of the standard operating procedures you can here on the Mars to the, post. To the First and foremost, chain of command. That's gonna get annoying. Actually. All enlisted personnel are under the command of Master Sergeant Thomas Kelly. Thomas Kelly. Zed does it. I would also like to add that this new train, uh, this new transfer, is exceedingly rude. He has hovered over me, reading everything I type. Stop it! I love how he just does that. Like that's a, that's a very funny Easter egg. I didn't find it on my first go, but I, I, I read it up a bit later. Anyway, I'm going to go up to this machine and download it. Okay, I got an email apparently. No, but I don't have the card. Oh well. Also, you can run. You can sprint. There's actually a sprint bar. The sprint bar is huge in this game. It's like... Thank you for your cooperation. Hello. Haven't seen you before. You must be with that new detachment coming to check on us. Yeah, okay. Um... Like, look at that sprint bar in the bottom left. It was there seems huge. To be some very serious problems. Like, it goes oh, really? down slowly and it goes Do up I need slowly. To remind you of the groundbreaking work that we're doing here? No, but I've been authorized by the board to look at everything. I've also been the authorized from the board you? to stop being in Deus Ex the games. The board doesn't know the first thing about science. Uh, All they want is something. So anyway, yeah. Have you guys money, seen the Wii U? Some product. Don't like, worry. They'll get their product. I don't know if it's come out. It's probably come out After by the time you're watching this. But uh, me, Petruger, you guys probably so like it. I'm not getting until Christmas, but requesting transfers hey. off Mars. It looks pretty they good. They simply can't handle life here. They're exhausted and overworked. If I had a larger, more competent staff and bigger budget, even these few accidents could have been avoided. I'm afraid you'll get nothing more until my report is filed. Oh yeah, with the that board. guy on the right there. I will need full access, that Dr. Guy. Trugger, Delta included. I won't have. Hmm. I feel like I will be walking just in Only front of that person swan. for the rest of the game. Just stay out of my way. Amazing things will happen here soon. You just wait. I love how he makes sounds without, like he Let's can go. say every word without actually fully closing his mouth. The movements are there. It's just the perfection, isn't there? Oh, dang, I don't have the clearance. Do I have the clearance to go in here? Listen, buddy, you don't have clearance for this area. Oh, I don't have clearance to do anything. I can jump. I jump pretty high. Bump my head on the suit. Very flickery light. Oh, yeah, I also remember this one. It's like you look in the mirror. Oh. It must have been a bit later.
Although they got reflection effects. I, I probably... It's probably not reflection effects. When you think about it, it's, it's probably just like uh, alpha texture on the wall. And then they render it again. But dude, dude, that is a pretty good rendering. Not even Call of Duty does that. Some weird noises from that toilet there. Oh, they're all disgusting. Look at those shadow effects, man. Look at those shadow effects. I apparently flushed it. Okay. Um. Kitchen. Yeah. Oh, picked up BDA. You don't have to do anything, really. You just walk towards it. You can look it up. I'll look at it for a second. So I've grabbed this guy. He's got a maintenance up update. And I can also see his email. <laughs> Adam, please take more caution in securing your personal data assistant. It's turned up in my lost and found three times this month. As you know, your base security clearances are stored on that, and it becomes a serious security issue any time a PDA is lost. Failure to secure a PDA could eventually result in your termination. Mr. Peterson. I was like, oh, you're reporting it. Your report is long overdue. And then he's got volunteer services. Oh, TV. IPN. It's a little bit too thick for 2145, isn't it? Ah, someone new. Always nice seeing new faces around here. Hope you enjoy your stay. Okay. Miller, you hear about Corporal Allen? Yeah, he said he just... Super Turbo Turkey Puncher! Turkey Puncher 3! This totally doesn't remind me of any other game. Nope. Not at all. I could be here forever. I just punch anywhere on the screen. I was okay. Okay. I made it pretty dark. Another replacement, huh? Another newbie. Welcome to the worst assignment you'll ever have. <laughs> okay. Sure. It's not like anything's gonna go wrong, Half-Life. There's been more accidents in Delta. Huh. Accidents? That's good. Is that what they're calling him now? So, tell me. Just what the hell is happening over there? Beats me, man. Look, all I do is repair the converters when they blow, okay? That's it. Fine. But what's overloading them so much? I mean, how much damn power do they need? I wouldn't ask him if I was you, man. I heard Travis started poking around and he got transferred fast. Didn't even see him leave. Hell, no one saw him go. Was here one minute, on the next. Lucky bastard. Jay Kim, what's his name? Jim Kim? Jim Kim. Okay. Jim Kim is poking his nose. Oh, I love that sign. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, dude, is, is this the same thing front and back? Uh, ooh. Exciting volunteer. I, I downloaded the first one, I didn't even see what it said. Dope. Dope. I mean, nope. Attention. Dr. Braddock, please report to Environment Management nope. Office. Please report to Sergeant Alpha. Kelly ASAP. He's in Command HQ. <laughs> okay, I'll follow, I'll follow him. Don't waste any more time. Go see the Sarge. Hello. I'm trying to reconfigure this other guy. I can't talk now. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Use this way, actually. Yeah, use this way. Took your sweet time, Marine. Yep. Now, here's the situation. Okay. Another member of the science team's gone missing. Oh. Since you're the ranking FNG, you get to find him. I want you to check out the old decommissioned comm facility. We heard he might be heading that way. The only way there is through the service passage under Mars City. I programmed this sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. I hope you follow the sentry better than you've followed orders so far. Dang it. Here at the security checkpoint at the bottom of the elevator. Oh, and when you find him, just bring him back. Do not hurt him. Now move out. Okay. Okay, we're following this dude. 
La 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 la. See, why didn't I have a robot just tell me where to go? Oh, dude, I was going the right way from. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Attention, UAC. Personnel. Takes me all the way back. Interested in earning more credits? Yes. Volunteer at Delta Labs today. Ooh. See your service branch director you for more details. Said. Oh, what? He said that he saw some strange creatures. Strange creatures. Okay. Yeah, follow this guy. Go so fast. Hey, look at that. I'm sprinting. Look how. The UAC Dude, that cares bar about is so the quality large. of life of its employees. Please take advantage of our quality medical care services. Now this door is magically open. Okay. It's like okay. So I guess. Uh, oh, one thing I like is that um sometimes they put uh codes in places. So for example, here they say listen to his audio log. He'll tell you. Okay, so. I'll listen to his audio log. Um, use Donna. This is the audio log of maintenance technician Adam Bernache, dated November 10th, 2145. I fixed the couplings on the heat shields this morning with no problems. I did, however, have another odd experience while I was down there. Shortly after finishing the first coupling adjustment, I distinctly heard whispering. When I went to investigate the sounds, I found nothing check the work logs and I was the only person scheduled to be in that area today. That experience, coupled with the stories I've heard from some guys over in the Delta Labs, has me pretty freaked out. I'm really beginning to hate going down to the underground maintenance area. The people down there are a bit off, the mumbling, the weird looks. The whole place is just plain creepy. I'm always expecting someone to jump out at me. I've secured my tools and the busted modulator in the storage cabinet next to the maintenance elevator. Technicians should use cabinet code 396 to access them. There you End go. of log. See, see, they always do that. It's like, oh, by the way, people should use this code to access the locker. It doesn't say the number, though. Um, exit the Mars. Mars City Underground. And again, just like Half-Life, this first part will be the orientation. There won't actually be any proper game. You know, I, I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of taking it in. You know, taking it in. Game save. <gasps> which, which door are we going? In? Oh, hello. Welcome to the dungeon, Marine. Most unexciting place on Mars. I'm gonna need you to grab some armor and secure your pistol before I can pass you through security. Okay, grab your gear. Yeah. Now you're ready for combat. Let me do a radio test. I was gonna flashlight. The flashlight is a lot cooler, but a lot more annoying. It's a lot more annoying than Half Life, because Half Life, one, it's not its own weapon. Looks like you've been assigned the decommissioned comm facility. Just follow the main passage through the underground um, and straight also, it's a little bit off center. Quick evac. You still, that's your melee weapon, by the way. You also got your fist. Why okay, would you're all set. I'm not quite sure why oh, yeah. this in mind. Civilians are working down here. So yeah, it flashlights and then backs off. So I, the flashlight also has unlimited power. So, well, one thing I like is that you can go. Hey, don't touch that. What is he doing? He's just gonna walk away. Swing that thing all the way around. Okay. Whack. Why? Why am I still talking? I shouldn't talk to the wall. Hey, you're looking for the scientist, right? I'm not sure you want to find him. Okay. You see, uh, uh, never mind. Oh, tell me. Don't listen to me. Never mind what I said. I shouldn't talk about it. Okay. Guess he's right. Oh, see, oh, oh by the way, this game is. Scotty, I've done this a million times. It's not that hard. Why don't you crawl your fat ass down here and do it yourself? Because I'm getting paid to make sure you do it. Just finish the coupling so we can continue. <laughs> um. Okay, so here's the guy's log, so obviously. 
Obviously, it's gonna be like Grant Baston, okay. This is Grant Baston, your environmental services supervisor. The date is October 19th. We're I've been hearing an out. alarming number of reports on some uh, unexplainable things. Being on another planet and working underground has always been a little spooky. So we always have the yes. occasional report of strange things. But what is worrying me is the fact that the number of these reports are up by a lot. People are truly frightened. The rumors we are hearing about experiments from the Delta Complex are not helping. The power fluctuations aren't helping at all either. Just found Having that the control lights flicker constantly and losing power for several minutes at a time is scaring everyone down here. I'm doing my best to keep people in track, but we're continually shorthanded. Someone's reporting in sick almost every day. I'll keep my director apprised of the situation, and we'll continue to log reports as I get them. <laughs> he didn't say it! Oh, dang it. Yeah, so don't feel obligated that you have to grab those. But it's just like... Yeah. You made this guy not keep any of these machines running? Yes, sir. It's just that the science team demands a lot out of these things. Enough excuses. Just do your job and get this... Yeah, there's no harmony. People are just like... Oh, no, no. Is there anything in here? I think that's actually where I'm supposed to go. Jeez! Do you make a habit of sneaking up on people? Everyone's already on edge down here with all the strange things that have been going on. The garage area is right through that door. Now stop bothering. See, so yeah, I just found that I can draw. Use your flashlight key, yeah, thanks. Um, so you'll see me kind of. Okay. Uh anyway, I just found the control shoots. It's like dude. Hey, you're that new guy headed for the old on my iPad. Actually think about it. That's an iPad before the iPad. Your suit. Samus. Cycle the airlock. Okay, ready? Oh gosh! Ah! Oh, ah! Oh. Oh, I'm drowning. Why couldn't they make it? Just, why couldn't they make like a whole way? They just went like another <laughs> 10 meters across there. No, they're gonna make me suffer. Oh, it's like a PlayStation 1 down there. Okay. Marine, this is Sergeant Kelly. You need to double time it down there. Search your assigned area and haul your ass back to Mars City. Out. Come with those on too. Okay. Is this a loading screen or is it? This game doesn't have that many loading screens. It's, it's actually kind of a lengthy-ish game world. Like I've only had two so far. Huh? No, no, please. You must let me get this communication out. They have to be warned while there is still time. I can't let. I... You don't know what I've seen. You can't possibly understand or comprehend. The devil is real. What? I know. What? I built his cage. I'm getting abnormal readings here. This is bad. Oh, God! I can't hold these levels. Yeah, you also. So anyway. Oh gosh. All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. We're under attack by an unknown enemy force. Fall back to Marine HQ to regroup. Okay. See you kids next time on Doom Three.